Did you know that nearly 75% of people experience anxiety when it comes to public speaking? This staggering statistic highlights just how common and powerful our fears can be when faced with the prospect of addressing an audience. If you want to truly connect with others and convey your message effectively, you need to tackle these fears head on. But fear not within this script, we'll explore essential strategies to help you navigate the challenges of public speaking, address real life obstacles and embrace mindfulness in daily life. The best part? By mastering these skills, you not only enhance your ability to communicate, but also cultivate resilience and serenity in the face of life's chaos. Avoid the mistake of letting fear dictate your choices. Instead, let's embark on a journey to gain mastery over your responses, break free from overthinking, and choose serenity amid the noise. Together, we'll uncover the tools and insights you need to thrive both personally and professionally. So, whether you're aiming to boost your confidence in public speaking or seeking ways to find calm in the whirlwind of daily life, you're in the right place. Let's dive into the transformative power of self-awareness, resilience and mindfulness that can lead you to a more fulfilling and empowered existence. Number 1. Viewing life as a journey. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast horizon, the sun setting in a kaleidoscope of colors, filling you with a sense of hope and anticipation. This feeling of awe is what life can be, an extraordinary journey filled with twists and turns, ups and downs. There's a certain happiness in that notion, isn't there? Life is not just a destination, it's an adventure waiting to unfold. However, as we navigate through this journey, it's easy to become consumed by the idea of reaching the finish line rather than embracing the experiences along the way. We often forget that each moment, each stumble and each triumph adds richness to our story. Diving deeper, let's explore the core concept of viewing life as a journey rather than a checklist. This perspective shift encourages us to appreciate the small victories and learn from setbacks. When you think of life as a series of experiences, it becomes clear that perfection is not the goal. Growth is. The road may be bumpy, filled with obstacles, and sometimes it can feel overwhelming. You may find yourself facing challenges that seem insurmountable, leaving you questioning your worth or capabilities. These moments are opportunities for self-reflection and personal development. They remind us that progress is often messy and non-linear, much like a winding road. As we reflect on our own journeys, many of us may find ourselves reminiscing about simpler times, those carefree days of childhood when the biggest worry was whether we could climb the highest tree or ride our bike without training wheels. Remember the laughter shared with friends, the thrill of discovering new things, and the excitement of living in the moment. Those memories carry a warmth that contrasts sharply with adult responsibilities and the pressures of modern life. It's natural to feel nostalgic when we think about those days of unfiltered joy, where the journey was all that mattered and perfection was simply an illusion. In this nostalgia lies a curiosity how can we reclaim that sense of wonder as we continue our journeys? What if we approach life with the same sense of adventure we had as children, embracing uncertainty with open arms? Imagine navigating through life's challenges, not with fear, but with a childlike curiosity, ready to learn and grow with every experience. How would that shift our perspectives and how could it redefine our relationships with ourselves and others? Let's explore this journey together, allowing curiosity to guide us as we seek to embrace the beauty of life's unpredictability. Number 2. Finding Stability in Integrity Now picture a strong, unyielding oak tree standing tall amidst a raging storm. This tree symbolizes integrity, rooted deeply in values and principles, providing stability even when everything around it is chaotic. 
The image of strength and resilience brings a sense of happiness, doesn't it? Integrity gives us a foundation to stand on, a place to return to when the winds of doubt and uncertainty threaten to knock us off balance. But what does it truly mean to embody integrity in our daily lives? At its core, integrity is about aligning our actions with our values, living authentically and honestly, and standing firm in our beliefs. It's the internal compass that guides us through life's complexities. When we act with integrity, we find clarity and purpose in our actions. However, it's not always easy. In a world filled with distractions and temptations, it can be challenging to stay true to ourselves. We may face moments of conflict where our values are tested, leading us to question our integrity. These situations can elicit fear or anxiety, pushing us to seek approval from others rather than staying grounded in our own beliefs. As we ponder the essence of integrity, it's impossible not to feel a wave of nostalgia for times when honesty felt like second nature. Think back to childhood, when telling the truth was simple and the weight of moral dilemmas didn't burden your heart. Remember the feeling of pure joy when you did something right or the satisfaction of standing up for a friend. Those moments were infused with authenticity where integrity was instinctive, unclouded by the complexities of adult life. Yet, that nostalgic feeling also sparks curiosity. How can we reignite that sense of integrity in our lives today? What practices can we implement to ensure we remain true to ourselves and our values? Perhaps it begins with small steps, being mindful of our choices, reflecting on our motivations, and asking ourselves whether our actions align with our core beliefs. By nurturing our integrity, we not only create a solid foundation for ourselves, but also inspire others to do the same. How can we, as a community, foster an environment where honesty and authenticity thrive? Let's delve into these questions, exploring the power of integrity and its profound impact on our journeys. Number three, the imagination's role in suffering. Imagine a world where our minds can create endless possibilities Picture standing in a field of dreams where every thought has the potential to bloom into reality. The joy of imagination can fill us with hope and excitement, offering an escape from the mundane. It's exhilarating to dream, isn't it? But as we dive deeper into our minds, we often discover that imagination can be a double-edged sword. While it allows us to envision beautiful futures, it can also conjure fears and anxieties that lead to suffering. At its core, the imagination plays a crucial role in shaping our experiences. It can amplify our joys and magnify our fears, leading us down paths of unnecessary worry. When we think about our challenges, it's easy to spiral into a cycle of negative thoughts, envisioning the worst possible outcomes. This tendency to catastrophize can be overwhelming and paralyzing. For instance, you might be excited about a new opportunity, but find yourself trapped in a whirlwind of what ifs, what if I fail, what if I embarrass myself. These thoughts can transform hope into dread, stealing the joy from the present moment. Reflecting on our past. Many of us can relate to the nostalgia of simpler times when our imaginations were a source of pure joy. Remember the days spent daydreaming about your future, free from the constraints of worry? When did that shift happen? It's almost as if adulthood comes with a set of expectations that stifle our creative spirit, replacing dreams with stress and anxiety. We often forget that imagination, when harnessed positively, can be a powerful tool for resilience and growth. This nostalgia brings forth a curious question. How can we reclaim the power of our imagination to serve us rather than hinder us? What if we intentionally cultivated a mindset where we used our creativity to visualize positive outcomes instead of succumbing to fear? By practicing gratitude and focusing on the present, 
we can learn to redirect our thoughts using imagination as a source of strength and inspiration rather than a trigger for suffering. Let's embark on this exploration, discovering how to transform our imaginative powers into a force for good in our lives. Number four, facing public speaking fears. Imagine standing before a crowd, the lights dimming as the spotlight finds you. The air is thick with anticipation and for a fleeting moment, everything seems to freeze. Your heart races, palms sweat, and the familiar voice of self-doubt whispers, what if you mess up? This scenario, fraught with tension and anxiety, is a common experience many of us can relate to. The fear of public speaking, whether it's addressing a small group or a large audience, can often feel paralyzing. Yet, amidst the fear, lies an opportunity for growth, connection, and authenticity. As we delve into the core of this fear, we must acknowledge that it's entirely natural to feel anxious about speaking in public. In fact, studies show that public speaking is one of the most common fears among people, often ranking higher than the fear of death. This reaction is rooted in our evolutionary psychology. We are social beings, wired to seek acceptance and avoid judgment from others. Standing in front of a crowd exposes us to vulnerability, and that can be terrifying. Yet, understanding that this fear is universal can be a comforting realization. You are not alone in feeling this way. Countless individuals, from seasoned professionals to those addressing a gathering for the first time, share this experience. Reflecting on our past, many of us can recall moments in school or work when the prospect of speaking in front of others sent shivers down our spines. Remember the days when class presentations felt like a rite of passage and the butterflies in your stomach could have flown you to another planet? Perhaps you had a supportive teacher who encouraged you, or maybe you faced an indifferent audience that made you question your abilities. Those memories can evoke nostalgia, reminding us of the innocent ambition we once had and the lessons we learned along the way. Yet this nostalgia also gives rise to curiosity. What if we approached public speaking as an opportunity for connection rather than a performance? What if we shifted our mindset from fear to excitement, embracing the chance to share our stories and insights with others? One way to tackle this fear is through preparation and practice. Familiarizing yourself with the material can build confidence and ease anxiety. Additionally, engaging in small conversations or low-pressure speaking opportunities can help gradually desensitize you to the experience. Moreover, it's essential to reframe your perception of public speaking. Instead of viewing the audience as critics, consider them as collaborators eager to learn from you. The act of sharing your knowledge and experiences creates a bond, a shared moment that transcends fear. Number five, addressing real life challenges. Life is a tapestry woven with challenges, each thread representing a unique experience that shapes who we are. Think about it. Each setback, disappointment and hurdle can feel like a weight on your shoulders yet it's also a reminder of our resilience and strength. The happiness we find in overcoming obstacles is a testament to our capacity to adapt and grow. But when faced with real-life challenges, it can often feel like we're trapped in a storm, buffeted by winds of uncertainty and doubt. As we dive into the heart of this topic, we must first acknowledge that challenges come in many forms, career setbacks, relationship struggles, health issues, or even the everyday stresses of life. The core lesson here is that challenges are not inherently negative, they are opportunities for growth and self-discovery. When we face difficulties, we learn valuable lessons about ourselves and the world around us. They force us to confront our limitations, question our beliefs, and ultimately find our strength. However, it's crucial to recognize that this process is not always easy. Reflecting on our past experiences 
Many of us can recall moments that felt insurmountable. Maybe it was a job loss that left you feeling vulnerable or a relationship that fell apart, leaving you questioning your worth. These memories can evoke a sense of nostalgia, reminding us of the challenges we've faced and the resilience we've cultivated over time. It's a reminder that every obstacle we've encountered has contributed to our growth, shaping us into the individuals we are today. Yet, within this nostalgia lies curiosity. How can we shift our perspective when faced with new challenges? What strategies can we employ to navigate through life's storms with grace and resilience? One effective approach is to embrace a growth mindset, the belief that our abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. When we adopt this mindset, we view challenges as opportunities for learning rather than threats to our self-esteem. Additionally, seeking support from others can be a game changer. Sharing your struggles with trusted friends, family members or mentors can provide a sense of relief and clarity. They may offer insights and perspectives that help illuminate your path forward. As we continue to explore the complexities of addressing real-life challenges, let's uncover the tools and strategies that can empower us to face difficulties with courage and grace. Number 6. Breaking free from overthinking. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads, paralyzed by indecision as your mind races with possibilities. Each potential path presents a myriad of outcomes, and the weight of overthinking wraps around you like a heavy fog, clouding your judgment. The initial thrill of choice quickly fades, replaced by anxiety and self-doubt. In a world where information is abundant, overthinking has become an all-too-common response, affecting our mental well-being and our ability to take action. At its core, Overthinking is a cycle of repetitive thoughts that often lead to analysis paralysis. It's the tendency to dwell on what could go wrong or to obsess over past decisions, leaving us feeling stuck and powerless. The challenge with overthinking is that it can prevent us from living in the moment and making choices that align with our true desires. The happiness we once felt when making decisions can become overshadowed by the fear of making the wrong one. Reflecting on our experiences, we can all relate to those moments of over-analysis. Remember a time when you were faced with a decision, perhaps choosing a college, applying for a new job, or even deciding on a vacation destination. The excitement of possibilities quickly turned into a mental tug-of-war, weighing the pros and cons endlessly. Those memories might evoke a sense of nostalgia for the simpler times when decisions felt less daunting and life flowed with ease. But as we dwell on the past, curiosity arises. How can we break free from the shackles of overthinking? What tools and practices can we implement to regain our sense of agency and clarity? One effective strategy is to set time limits for decision-making, Allow yourself a designated period to weigh your options, and once that time is up, commit to a choice. This practice can create a sense of urgency and help you break the cycle of rumination. Another powerful technique is to practice mindfulness. By grounding ourselves in the present moment, we can create space to observe our thoughts without judgment. Mindfulness allows us to recognize when we're slipping into overthinking and gently redirect our focus to the here and now. Additionally, engaging in activities that bring you joy, whether it's exercising, creating art, or spending time with loved ones, can help shift your mind away from excessive rumination. As we navigate the intricacies of breaking free from overthinking, let's explore the transformative power of self-awareness and mindfulness. Together, we can uncover strategies that empower us to reclaim our decision-making abilities and find clarity amidst the chaos of our thoughts. Number 7. Embracing Non-Reactivity Imagine walking through a bustling city where the sounds of honking horns and chattering crowds create an overwhelming backdrop. In the midst of this chaos, 
you encounter a moment of tension, a stranger raises their voice, or a friend reacts impulsively. It's easy to feel the heat rise within us, the urge to react instinctively. Yet, what if you could pause, breathe, and respond with calm instead of chaos? The happiness that comes from embracing non-reactivity can be a powerful tool in navigating life's challenges. At its essence, non-reactivity is the practice of responding to situations with mindfulness and intention, rather than knee-jerk reactions driven by emotion. It allows us to step back and assess our responses, creating space between stimulus and reaction. In a world that often rewards impulsive reactions, cultivating non-reactivity can feel countercultural, yet it can lead to profound transformation in our interactions and decision-making. As we reflect on our experiences, many of us can recall moments where reacting hastily led to misunderstandings or regrettable outcomes. Think back to a heated argument with a loved one where a careless comment spiraled into a conflict. Those memories may evoke a sense of nostalgia, reminding us of the moments we wish we could rewrite. The pain of those experiences serves as a reminder of the importance of cultivating non-reactivity in our lives. Yet, this reflection also sparks curiosity. How can we train ourselves to embrace non-reactivity in the heat of the moment? What practices can help us develop this essential skill? One effective strategy is to incorporate mindfulness techniques into our daily routines. Mindfulness meditation, for example, encourages us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment, creating a sense of distance from our emotional responses. Additionally, practicing deep breathing exercises can help us center ourselves in moments of tension. Taking a few slow, intentional breaths can ground us allowing us to respond with clarity rather than impulse. It's also essential to cultivate self-compassion, recognizing that it's okay to make mistakes and that each challenge is an opportunity for growth. As we explore the power of non-reactivity, let's uncover techniques and strategies that empower us to respond mindfully and cultivate a sense of peace amidst life storms. Number 8. Practicing Mindfulness in Daily Life Picture yourself sitting in a quiet room, the sun streaming through the window, casting a warm glow around you. In this moment, you feel an overwhelming sense of peace and tranquility. Mindfulness, a practice rooted in being fully present in the moment, has the power to transform our daily lives. It encourages us to savor the here and now, cultivating awareness and appreciation for the simple joys that surround us. Yet, in the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to lose sight of this practice and find ourselves caught in the web of distraction. At its core, mindfulness is about intentionally focusing our attention on the present moment, free from judgment and distraction. It invites us to engage fully in our experiences, whether it's enjoying a meal, taking a walk, or having a conversation. The happiness derived from mindfulness comes from the realization that each moment is a gift, brimming with beauty and opportunity. Reflecting on our past, many of us can recall instances when we felt truly present, perhaps during a heartfelt conversation with a friend, a captivating moment in nature, or even while enjoying a favorite hobby. These moments evoke a sense of nostalgia, reminding us of the richness that life offers when we are fully engaged. However, it's easy to slip into a routine of autopilot, where we rush through our days, checking off tasks without truly experiencing them. This realization gives rise to curiosity. How can we integrate mindfulness into our daily lives? What practices can help us cultivate a deeper sense of presence and appreciation? One effective approach is to start small. Incorporate mindfulness moments into your daily routine, whether it's taking a few conscious breaths before a meal, savoring the flavors and textures of your food, or engaging in a short meditation practice. Additionally, 
consider setting aside dedicated time for mindfulness practice, whether it's through meditation, yoga, or simply sitting in silence. These moments of intentional stillness allow us to reconnect with ourselves and cultivate a deeper sense of awareness. As we explore the art of mindfulness together, let's uncover techniques that empower us to embrace the present and find joy in our everyday experiences. Number 9. Gaining Mastery Over Responses Imagine facing a challenging situation, a disagreement with a co-worker, a difficult conversation with a loved one, or a stressful deadline looming ahead. In these moments, the way we respond can significantly impact our emotional well-being and our relationships with others. Gaining mastery over our responses allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and intention. It empowers us to choose how we engage with the world, cultivating happiness and resilience amidst adversity. At its essence, mastery over responses involves cultivating self-awareness and emotional intelligence. It requires us to recognize our triggers and the emotions that arise in various situations. When we develop this awareness, we create space for intentional responses rather than automatic reactions. The ability to respond thoughtfully can lead to healthier relationships, improved communication, and a greater sense of control over our lives. Reflecting on our experiences, many of us can recall moments where our responses led to misunderstandings or conflict. Perhaps a sharp comment during a stressful day escalated a minor disagreement into a heated argument. These memories evoke a sense of nostalgia for times when our interactions felt smoother and more harmonious. Yet, they also serve as valuable lessons about the importance of mastering our responses. This realization prompts curiosity. How can we cultivate mastery over our responses in our daily interactions? What strategies can empower us to choose our reactions with intention? One effective approach is to practice self-reflection. Take time to explore your emotional triggers and the patterns that arise in your responses. Journaling can be a helpful tool in this process, allowing you to identify recurring themes and gain insights into your emotional landscape. Additionally, consider incorporating breathing techniques into your daily routine. Deep, intentional breaths can help calm your nervous system, creating space for thoughtful responses. Mindfulness practices can also enhance your ability to respond with awareness, encouraging you to pause before reacting. As we explore the journey toward mastering our responses, let's uncover techniques that empower us to engage with life intentionally and authentically. Number 10. Choosing Serenity Amidst Chaos In a world that often feels chaotic, where responsibilities and distractions pull us in multiple directions, the pursuit of serenity can seem like a distant dream. Yet amidst the noise, there exists a profound opportunity to cultivate inner peace. Choosing serenity amidst chaos is not about avoiding challenges or escaping the hustle of life. It's about finding tranquility within ourselves, regardless of external circumstances. The happiness that comes from embracing serenity can transform our experiences and relationships. At its core, choosing serenity involves a conscious decision to prioritize our well-being and cultivate a sense of calm amidst life's storms. It's about developing practices and mindsets that enable us to remain centered even when chaos surrounds us. This journey is not always easy, it requires commitment and self-awareness. However, the rewards are immeasurable, a greater sense of clarity, resilience and joy. Reflecting on our past, many of us can recall moments where we felt overwhelmed by the chaos of life. Perhaps it was during a particularly stressful period at work or a tumultuous time in a personal relationship. These memories evoke nostalgia, for moments of stillness when life felt balanced and serene. They remind us of our capacity to find peace, even in challenging circumstances. 
Yet this reflection also sparks curiosity. How can we cultivate serenity in our lives today? What practices can help us navigate chaos with grace and composure? One effective strategy is to create intentional moments of stillness throughout your day. Whether it's taking a few minutes to meditate, stepping outside for a breath of fresh air, or simply pausing to appreciate the beauty around you, these moments can ground you amidst the busyness. Additionally, consider developing a mindfulness practice that resonates with you. Whether through meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises, these practices can help you cultivate a sense of serenity within yourself. It's also essential to prioritize self-care, ensuring that you carve out time for activities that rejuvenate and nourish your spirit. As we explore the journey of choosing serenity amidst chaos, let's uncover techniques and strategies that empower us to cultivate inner peace and resilience in our daily lives. In closing, I hope you found these insights on facing public speaking fears, addressing real-life challenges, and choosing serenity amidst chaos as transformative tools for your journey. If you've resonated with any part of this discussion, drop a hundred in the comments. It's a testament to your commitment to self-improvement and the unique few who are dedicated to completing their goals. If you're serious about making lasting changes in your life, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are eager to support each other in growth and empowerment. Together, we can explore more valuable content that will inspire you to embrace every opportunity life presents.